the raccoon Persian Latour. Its most distinguishable characteristics include its black mask across the eyes and bushy tail that can have anywhere from 4 to 10 black rings. Both their forepaws and hindpaws have 5 toes. The raccoon forepaws are extremely dexterous and resemble small slender human hands. Raccoon coloration varies by its habitat. They usually range from a gray to a reddish brown. An adult raccoon is stocky and can measure 2 to 3 feet in length and can weigh anywhere from 7 to 30 pounds. Their tails make up 40 to 50 percent of their lengths and males are usually heavier than females by 10 to 30 percent. Raccoon males expand their home range during mating season in order to find more potential mates. Mating season is from February through June with, with most of the mating taking place during March. During mating season, females temporarily den with males, but after mating is over, they go their own way. Raccoons have one litter per year. Litter size can range from three to seven. The gestation period is around 65 days and the young are born blind in a tree den and finally open their eyes at 18 to 24 days of age. Babies are weaned for 70 days and by the 20th week they start to forage with mom at night and remain in the den during the day. The young remain with the mom for its first winter but come spring they become independent but still continue to den nearby. Females reach sexual maturity before they are one year old, while males reach maturity at two years of age. Raccoons are found across most of North America. They prefer to be near bodies of water. They originally kept to deciduous forests, woodlands, and swamps. They live in moist woodland areas, preferably in tree cavities or burrows. However, they are able to adapt well in farmlands, urban areas, and suburban areas. They were able to adjust to these urban areas due to the lack of predators and the abundance of human food available for their consumption. Raccoon Behaviors Raccoons are nocturnal, but they are in rare occasions seen wandering around during the daylight. They are excellent swimmers and climbers, and they are able to withstand a 35-foot drop. They tend to move slowly, but they are able to reach a speed of 15 miles per hour on the ground. They have the ability to open jars, bottles, and latches, which is due to their dexterity. Social groups of raccoons consist mainly of a mother and her young, and occasionally sibling groups. Raccoons usually become independent within 12 to 18 months old, but they tend to live in loose-knit communities of around four to five raccoons. When threatened, raccoons may lash their tail, lower the head, bare their teeth, arc their back, and erect the hairs on their back. For the young, some contact and distress calls include purrs and twitters. Raccoon footprints are hand-shaped and have five finger-like toes in both the front and the hind feet, measuring two to three inches across. Their front tracks have longer toes and are more spread out. Left and right tracks can be differentiated because their innermost toe is the smallest and the furthest to the rear of the foot. Raccoons usually leave droppings in the bottom of trees or on logs, which can be a good indicator of their presence. Their scat is typically two to three inches long and half an inch across. Because raccoons are omnivorous, their scat can be quite variable in color, consistency, and shape. Common problems occur when raccoons look for nesting sites in buildings. Females in search of nesting sites may rip off shingles, boards, or rooftop ventilators to get into the attic. Once inside the attic, insulation on the walls may be torn up and displaced. Insulation on heating and air conditioning ducts may be ripped off and destroyed. Raccoons may begin using an area of the attic for a latrine, which can cause the ceiling beneath to become stained with urine and can be accompanied by an odor. Ectoparasites may infest the attic and migrate to other parts of the house. 
Uncapped chimneys are often used as den sites as are spaces beneath porches and decks. Doors covering crawl spaces are sometimes damaged in an effort to den beneath the house. Raccoon damage to gardens is quite common. Sweet corn is particularly desired. Raccoons will climb the stalk and tear it down to gain access to the corn. Damage usually occurs right before harvest. Other fruits and vegetables in the garden can be consumed. When looking for worms, raccoons will often roll up newly laid turf. Raccoons are known to carry a number of diseases and internal parasites. The raccoon roundworm, an infection spread to people by the accidental ingestion and inhalation of roundworm eggs from the raccoon feces, has caused increased concern in recent years. Raccoon infection can cause a series of disabilities, and young children are thought to be most susceptible. Raccoons are also carriers of rabies and distemper, so be sure pets are properly vaccinated to mitigate this threat. There are a number of ways to control your raccoon pest problem. It is important to reduce their available food sources. In order to prevent raccoons from knocking over your garbage cans, place them in a rack or tie them to a secure post. Use bungee cords to secure garbage can lids tightly. Latches are not effective as raccoons have front paws that are hand-like with tactile, long, flexible toes that can easily unhook latches. If you have fruit trees, remove any fruit on the ground and cover compost piles to prevent raccoons from feeding on food scraps. Lastly, bring your pet's food and water bowls inside at night. Remove any outdoor wood piles the raccoons can den in. Thinning out overgrown brush will also reduce cover they might take shelter in. Prevent raccoons from accessing rooftops by keeping tree branches at least five feet between the tree branch and roof. Limit available water. If raccoons are getting into fish ponds or decorative water ponds, limit access by using wire mesh to cover the pond. Ensure that low spots where water collects together is either filled in or drained. And if possible, keep swimming pools covered at night. Prevent access to chimneys by covering them with a chimney cover. Open access to the underneath of porches, decks, or sheds should be sealed off with tightly screened galvanized mesh. The mesh should be tightly secured and buried at least six inches deep to prevent the raccoons from digging underneath. Simple fences will not exclude raccoons. They can easily dig underneath or climb over a fence. They are also known to seek out weaknesses in the fence and rip out those wood boards or holes through wire fences. A low two-wire electric fence can be very effective for excluding raccoons. Scare tactics. Flashing lights, sound producing devices, and water squirting devices activated by motion detectors may be effective for a few days at which point in time the raccoon learns there's no threat associated with these devices. Repellents. There are many compounds on the market advertised as raccoon repellents. However, none are known to be effective for a long period of time. As always, consult your pest management professional before using repellents. Trapping. Before considering live trapping, you should consider two things. First, the time commitment it requires. Traps must be checked daily. The best time to check traps is in the morning. Traps should be closed in the morning to prevent the capture of non-target animals. Secondly, if you have the means and ability to euthanize a trapped raccoon. Trapping and re-releasing raccoons in California is illegal and irresponsible. Euthanizing a raccoon can be distressing and dangerous. So, if you do not have the means to euthanize a trapped raccoon, contact your local pest control professional. Conibear-type body-gripping traps are effective for raccoons. Since these traps do not allow for selective release of non-target animals, they should be used in an area where risk of non-target capture is high. Body-gripping traps are unlawful. Shooting. Shooting in urban areas is inadvisable and may be restricted. Shooting in rural areas 
may provide an effective solution to unwanted raccoon populations. When taking raccoon after dark, pistols and rifles may be no larger than a .22. BB guns are not allowed. It is advisable to check with your local authorities before using any lethal controls for raccoons. As always, with any vertebrate pest issue, one method is not the solution. A variety of methods should be used to make the raccoon's presence uncomfortable in order to encourage the animal to move along to another area. Hi guys, so today we're gonna go over how to set a raccoon trap. First off, you wanna wear gloves to make sure you reduce the amount of human scent that the raccoons may pick up on these traps. And you wanna follow the prints to an area that is frequented by the raccoons. And so we followed raccoon prints down to this area nearby the creek. And it's also perfect because it's shaded, which will reduce the amount of capture stress a raccoon will experience in direct sunlight if caught. Second, you wanna make sure that it's in an area that is stable so that they can't knock over the trap to get the bait out. And as our bait, we smeared peanut butter over the trigger. Anchovies and tuna are also great baits, but they can attract non-target animals, such as kitties that we don't want. So we used peanut butter. And we're gonna start setting this trap by lifting the door here holding it back, pushing back the hook, and our trap is set. So the raccoon will go in the trap, and when it goes to get the peanut butter, it's gonna step on the trigger, and your raccoon is caught. 